The interesting thing about the developing markets is that many of the macro market pressures are really the same across all the markets. If we take a look over the last four or five years, they've all been intensely in, engaged in migrating their customers from 2G to 3G, and obviously they're on the cusp of 4G. And one of the interesting things about that is that while the management of these companies is intensely focused on that migration of their networks, if you take a look at what's happening on the customer side, there are macro changes that are forever changing the way that customers will be using their devices and also using their networks. 25 to 30 percent of the customers account for up to 70 percent of all the revenue. So you have this tremendous concentration of revenue, which is the first thing. Second is when we look at the realization of price in terms of what these customers are willing to pay, say for data, high value customers are willing to pay six to eight times more per megabit of data than really low and medium value customers are willing to pay. So you have a skewing. And what's very interesting is that none of the network deployment models that were heretofore engaged by the carriers really address the skewing of value versus volume. The like more advanced carriers are really looking at high value customers and they're understanding what the use cases are and they're understanding where these customers exist within the network on a daily basis. So we're able to basically develop uh, a hybrid network using small cell technologies in building solutions and along with 2G or 3G services to basically deliver to them far better services and be able to monitor that in ways that heretofore they have not been able to achieve. There's tremendous cost that can be taken out of developing market mobility carriers and uh, obviously about 40 percent of total costs, total OPEX, is within the networks. So we're able to vastly reduce the OPEX within the mobility carriers. That begins to fund a lot of the transition and a lot of the journey. It's a very uh, ambitious initiative for management to undertake, uh, but it's a needed tr you know, transition because uh, simply with all of the challenges that are being faced, uh, one needs to restore profitability and needs to get ahead of others who might be doing the same thing.